and I just couldn't hit that 100K a month mark, right? I tried to join all these programs like Dan Henry's, um, Sam Ovens, and you know, tried to do the webinar method to try to get 100K, didn't work. guys uh andrew cruzy here with bastion my main man uh he's one of our seven figure ceo clients and has seen some incredible growth over the past four months working with us um he, i'll let you introduce yourself man uh so yeah. who do you who do you help why do you help them and what's your business look like yeah thank you so much for having me andrew here andrew it's awesome being here so uh, basically, who I help is right now experts, coaches, and consultants. With organic marketing, and prior to joining Andrew, I actually ran a marketing agency and also helped agency owners. So that was like what I did prior to joining Andrew, and that's what I do right now. I love it, dude. And guys, if you're here with us live, give, give us a hashtag live down below. If you're watching replay, hashtag replay. And if you get any value out of this, hit that heart button, hit that like button. The more engagement we get, the more people we can reach, the more people we can help. Um, and Bastion, just real quick, like what problem were you experiencing uh, that you wanted solved really, really bad before joining Seven Figure CEO? Yeah, that's a great question, man. So I think it's not a common problem. It was more of a luxurious problem. I was very content with where I was at, right? Like I was making 30 to 40K a month for I think like a year consecutively. And at one point, even while, you know, playing video games and doing nothing, I still made it. And, you know, it got very, very boring and static, right? So I noticed the decline in my growth too as an individual. So basically my problem was I got too comfortable and I just couldn't hit that 100K a month mark, right? I tried to join all these programs like Dan Henry's, um, Sam Ovens, and, you know, tried to do the webinar method to try to get 100K, didn't work. And so I just got content with where I was at. I was like, you know, I'll just stay here for a while, man. And then three months later, I got sick of it, <laughs> right? Like had enough, like I think cash flow in the bank to last for three or four years, just play video games, pay for rent, all that stuff. And then I just continuously saw Andrew pop up with like his clients, you know, making 100K a month, 200K a month. And I was like, man, I want to be there. And so that was a problem I had. Um, you know, I already had a little bit of experience here and there, but could never, ever even, you know, get to 50K a month, let alone 100K a month, right? So the problem I had was just, in short, not a clear roadmap to 100K a month, right? And just being very, very comfortable. So that was like the two main problems I had at the time. Yeah, I love that. So let's go into that, because I remember our first onboarding call together. It was about getting your first beta offer <laughs> off the ground. And I told you and your girlfriend up the fuck out of your prices. I think you were thinking around like 2K or 3K. And then you got yeah. it up to uh, 6K. Um, yeah. And then you started selling it there. And I remember your girlfriend filming the video saying she sold her first one and all that stuff. So yes. tell us a little bit about that. Your first initial beta offer for this new uh, coaching consulting offer for agency owners. Um, what, what was that experience like through the onboarding call, through the support, all of that? Yeah, hundred percent, man. So yeah, I, I recall what you said, man, like, dude, don't do one-on-one -on -one for 3,800 US. Like what, what the fuck are you doing? Right. And then I laughed on the call. I recall that was very funny anyway. So yeah, we, we did our call, right? Like a warm up call and you helped us like strategize for the next 90 days. And so what happened was we first sort of like promoted it the way you like told us to do it. And then in our first two weeks, we hit, I think like 60 K cash collected, right? Which was nuts for us, crazy. But then, you know, it was like 150 K in revenue, but then a lot of people said bass revenue doesn't matter. So then after that moment, I only focused on cash collected. Oh, yeah. And yeah, so in that, you know, first, uh, in that first month we hit hundred K collected. And then actually the month after we hit 110K and it's been, you know, ever on that rate ever since. So that's sort of what it looked like, man. And it's still looking like, and um, we're super pumped to also roll out our MRR offer, which we're getting shout out to Brett Newman, like help with from Brett. Um, so we're just constantly on this, you know, on the uprise with growing in our business and in our personal life. So it's been incredible. I love it, dude. Yeah, and for everybody <laughs> out there listening, watching, like if Brett Bashan was thinking about doing one-on-one -on -one at a lower ticket price, 
our whole methodology is you get more out of community and connection through group programs with a little bit of one-on-one -on -one support and a tactical roadmap for your business to scale and your clients to get better results. So we put that into place, uh, put a price point on it, it was between 4K and 6K, was able to do $60,000 collected in the first two weeks and then consistently hitting over 100K collected for the next few months. And that wouldn't have been possible without Bastion uh, doubling down on the group program, selling it organically, because um, that's what we really hone in on is organic yeah. sales and selling through Messenger, selling through sales calls, because that's really where you get your best sales calls when they're coming from warm traffic. So tell us a little bit about that. You've been through Sam Ovens program, you've been through Dan Henry program, <laughs> and doing the webinar paid traffic methods. Um, yeah. What made it different shifting to organic um, and what was that experience like? Yeah, that's a great question. So I first entered Dan Henry's program and don't get me wrong, amazing entrepreneur in his DMC course. And so I tried to sell a low ticket offer at 750 US through a webinar, through an organic launch and paid. And I think like we did 20 to 30K, which was nice, but it was an injection, right? So after that, it just declined. I was like, okay, man, this is not going to work. And so then I tried up level. It was a very similar methodology, right? Just webinar, paid ads. So I taught, and I think like many others right now, perhaps that is the way to go. That's the way to do it because the more you spend, the more you make. And, you know, it's just not been true for me at least. And so then, you know, going into Andrew's program, I just, you know, then had the epiphany moment of like, wow, I've just been looking at the wrong place to make the iterations at, right? Like the, uh, I need to add a webinar to make 100K. Well, instead I need to just charge more and go to a group setting, right? And solve a bigger problem. So really boiling down back to the principles, which I always overlook because I think when I was making 30 to 40K, I thought like, man, I, I'm the man, like I'm killing it. I just need to do like a webinar then I'll get to 100K, right? And yeah, that wasn't true. So, and then, you know, I work with Andrew, we made the iterations in the right like places. And then first month, like it's no coincidence, it happened first 100K month, right? And obviously it's more than the iterations, like it's actually sitting down with someone who's doing, you know, 300K a month and still growing and having this, you know, like, man, look at your business and say, you need to change this. Dude, no, don't charge 3K for one-on-one. Like, what the fuck are you doing? Do this, right? And I'm like, open-minded, I listen, implement, and then it happened. Yeah. So that's sort of been the journey in like a nutshell, yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think the coolest thing is, with all of this new cash coming in, you've been able to make a bigger impact, especially for your clients, but also with your family. And tell us a little bit about what you did on Christmas with your family. Yeah, that's an awesome question. So yeah, with Christmas, uh, I did one of the biggest things ever uh, for my family, and it was for my father in particular. And so December 24, you know, like I flew back to the Netherlands, was in Belgrade at the time, so flew back had a gift prepared for my dad after getting massive success from like Andrew's help and was able to allocate, you know, some amount that I wanted to to my father so I could retire him. Right, actually super cool. I'm gonna get my dad to join your program, man, because right now he's helping people quit smoking with his consulting business, right? Amazing, but back to the gift, I gave my father 40,000 euros so he could just quit his job, use that money to just, you know, pay for rent, survive for like two, three years, just focus on his business. And so that's, you know, what I've been able to do with sort of the cash that I've been able to make with the help of Andrew, allocated to obviously mainly the business, but also like a chunk that I saved up for my dad. And then, you know, that happened, which was insane to me. And still is honestly, when I just think about it, it's like gets me emotional. <laughs> yeah, dude, you have yeah, such a big heart. And that <laughs> goes to... Yeah, the tactics, the strategy, the vision, that's all great. But if you don't have the motivation behind it, you're not going to take action on those things. And like your big motivation yeah. was paying off your dad's debt. So I'm actually curious now, what's what's your next big motivation to really push and propel your business forward? It's a great question. It's now instead of just my dad, it's my entire family. <laughs> so my goal right now is to, I think, just for my personal life, because I mainly just have business goals, would be to create generational wealth. Like I've not spent all of I the only luxury I have is what I have on me right now, my my Rolex. Like a part of that could have yeah. bought 
like just like Andrew, we literally had the same. <laughs> but you know, could, could have bought a Lambo, a Tesla, go for a mortgage. But I just want to give it to my family. I paid like um, also, and I didn't even market this or anything. It's just because I love giving. I gave my friend a two thousand euro MacBook. I gave my little brother a fifteen hundred euro guitar, which he dreamed of. So for me, my next goal on like just personal life, generational wealth. I'd say business is really just to scale up, have more impact, and just constantly be in the uprise. So that's in short my my goals for my business and for my personal life. I love it, dude. And yeah, for for all of you guys out there that might be sitting at six figures, looking to go to seven figures, like Bastion and I are just like ordinary dudes that have been able to do extraordinary things because we've implemented a process. We've looked at a process, we've taken advantage of that process, whether it's Bastion taking uh, charge of the 12 systems and having our support, or it's me joining another program and going all in, like I bought um, Alex Moscow's program two years ago to, to teach me live events. I just went all in on the process. So like if you're looking to make 2021 the best year of your life, whether it is our programs or somebody else's, the main thing is just focus in on one process and really dial in a proven process. Because the biggest, the most valuable resource that we have is time. And when you double down on a proven process, it saves you time and makes you far more money in the amount of time than what you're actually paying for it. So I just want to put that out there. Um, Bastion, anything you want to add on top of that? What made this process super work super well for you? And what what about the support with Brad and Avery and Masha and all of them on the team? Wow. Yeah, no, that's amazing, man. Um, to add on to the support, it's just very personable. It's quick. Like even, you know, if it wasn't for your sales rep, Marco, I wouldn't have joined, you know, because I was like, man, I'll just wait till January before I make a decision. And then in my first month, made 100K, right? So first shout out to Marco. So the support in that sense, even like from a sales standpoint, it's incredible. I like just enrolling and then sitting down with you to get genuine and authentic mentorship, like literally looking at my business, seeing what's wrong, what I should change, what I should add, et cetera. Been incredible. And it still is, you know, and to top it off, just shout out to Brett, like, what a guy. <laughs> That's pretty much it, man. He's a fucking savage. I love it, dude. Oh, I love him. Yeah. Amazing. Uh, so, uh, what, so what I want to dive into here is your offer. So you got your beta offer uh, off the ground. Now it's a core high ticket offer, which we teach. And then you also brought up the MRR offer, which is the next offer that we teach for more retention, better client results, a longer term program. Tell us a little bit about that in terms of going through the beta process, getting people in initially, and really solidifying the delivery of your core offer so you're ready for uh, your MRR offer. What was that experience like? Yeah, that's a great question. So I'm actually in the midst of that process. So uh, like a week or two ago, I sat down with Brad and he asked me some great questions, right? Like how confident are you in removing yourself of your core offer? And I set a five and then he asked me, okay, what should change to make it like a nine or a 10? to get you then to focus on the MRR offer rather than the core one. So now we put like, you know, steps in place of removing myself, right? So right now it's refilming our program to add more info, making it full stacked, like hiring an additional coach who could take over the calls and, you know, Danny will be taking over my calls. So that's the current process I'm in. And then because, you know, your help too, getting our clients amazing results, I'm so positive that we'll ascend so many people. And not only that, you know, it's, I'm so happy with just a year coaching because three months later, like now I'm here, right? Like now I'm left with the question of, okay, how do I build an MRR offer? I have no idea, dude, right? So that's where Brad comes in, helps me massively and talks about, dude, you need to do a live virtual event. And then I'm like, what's that, right? And then he just like, you know, explains it to me. I'm like, that's sick, man. And so that's basically the next steps right now with the MRR. And once it's launched, I'll let you know what the results are, but I have no doubt we'll probably hit 200K because of just like how great delivery has been on its current standard and is still being raced with the bar. So sort of in a process right now, once the results hits, I think we'll do another interview <laughs> and then uh, we'll, we'll yeah share like the live results. <laughs> I love it, dude. Yeah, and for everybody listening there, 
like what Bastion was just explaining was leverage, like using more streamlined videos in terms of content, that's a type of leverage, an accountability coach to come in on the team to get the clients better results and drive more upsells, referrals, testimonials, that's generating more revenue for your business. All of these are forms of leverage and really not being taught out there inside of other programs. They're not really teaching you how to grow a coaching business. They're teaching you tactics for marketing and sales. So yeah. Ashton, thank you so much for bringing all that up. And if you guys are getting any value out of this, hit that heart button, hit that like button. The more engagement we get, the more people we can reach, the more people we can help. And last thing I wanna mention here, uh, for everybody, we are doing free coaching calls with our uh, client success specialist staff. Um, so if you are looking for uh, a better refined system and take what we're teaching into the uh, in the free group and really formulate a process and a step-by-step -step system around that to achieve your 2021 goals, just hashtag coaching call down below and we'll get you on that call ASAP. So if you want to make 2021 the best year of your life and become a CEO like Bastion here, hashtag coaching call down below and we'll get you on that bad boy. Um, but Bastion, what, uh, what didn't I ask you that I should have asked you here? Honestly, no, we went over the core things, man. I think you asked great questions and I feel everyone that has been here from the start or is watching the replay will get great value from this. I think um, the only thing I'll add is you know, learn from someone who's te teaching you principles and not techniques, right? Because they expire and, you know, they don't last. And, you know, book your freaking coaching call with Andrew. And that's the only thing I'll say. <laughs> that's pretty much it, dude. I love it, dude. Bastion, thank you so much. Thank you for being a part of Seven Figure CEO and going all in and just driving this process. And I can't wait to have you back again after you launch your MRR offer. It's going to be awesome. Hell yeah, man. Thanks for all your help, Andrew. You're a beast. <laughs> Thank you guys watching. I'll talk to you soon.